everyone, so I'm doing a video on the Winter's Expansion DLC for Resident Evil Village, and now the DLC is somewhat good, but somewhat bad. I do have many complaints. Well, for one, if you get S ranks in all of the um, stages, you can unlock statues of the character. I unlocked Lady D because she was the easiest one to unlock. And you do get Merc reports, so that's cool. I'm trying to unlock Ethan and Chris and Heisenberg. And there lies the problem with each of them. Chris Redfield cannot heal. He gets no healing items whatsoever. The R1 and L1 button used to heal, he just punches. And he can stomp an enemy down. Oh. Okay. So the onslaught gaze is kind of cool. I kind of wish could have healed him a little too, but whatever. Carl Heisenberg is the only character who can block. Yes. He's the only one that could block out of the new characters. Alcina Dimitrescu? Nope. She did, well, she can heal. You can use the um, wine bottle that you collected in the... Um, yeah, the um, uh, Sagus version -ness, Which is the, um, the blood wine. She can use that to heal herself. She can throw her, um, dresser. I do like the information on it saying that these are custom made, but she keeps destroying them because of her anger issues. Wonder how expensive that is. Huh? All right, let's see what else. So far, this DLC is kind of bad. And it's even more worse when, again, again, Carl, Chris, and Carl cannot heal themselves. Only Ethan and Lady D can heal herself. Heal themselves. It gets more frustrating when I'm doing the, um, the what's I'm call it? The, you know, the madhouse mode or the, the ones where the enemy kills you in two hits. I mean, sure, uh, Dimitrescu and Carl and Chris can take more hits before on the resin, unlike Ethan. But still, the fact that two of them cannot heal is really frustrating. Especially when enemies keep hitting you and quickly bring you to the red zone. You have to hit a blue thing and hope and pray you either get adrenaline or healthy to increase your health. Or able to heal yourself whenever you hit an enemy. But wait, no, it gets worse. You can actually buy adrenaline for this much instead of upgrading your guns. That one might be worth it, but seriously. I'm sorry, it's just this game. Hey, right, um... Besides, it is really easy in the S rings of out. Well, her. Well, for one, her claws can damage ones that wear metal on them kind of easily. So, that's one. And now I'm going to. Oh, boy. <sighs> My complaints with. Mm hmm. I have to complain about the Shadow of Rose DLC. I was disappointed. I do unlock, well, yeah, for pre order, I unlock this costume. That's it. Now, the DLC itself is fun, but. There is some problems I have with it. Well, for one, I beated it.
But the DLC doesn't give you any new game plus, doesn't give you any new weapons or anything. I'm sorry, the non a hero DLC for Resident Evil 7? At least Chris was able to unlock some stuff there. And the Joe Baker one, he gets to unlock throwing knives, a machete that can heal himself by swinging it. And stuff like that. Rose doesn't unlock anything, and she, she may be the only protagonist that never gets a knife. Other than Joe. Unless you count the throwing eyes and machete he gets after you beat his DLC. But still... <clears throat> why didn't- why doesn't Rose get a knife? Seriously. But yeah, there was no- and yeah, there's only three weapons. A pipe bomb, handgun, shotgun, that's it. For some reason, the last weapon slot is completely empty. They could have given her oh, a knife or any other weapon. I mean, sure, they probably won't give her a machine gun or anything else, but still. <sighs> the DLC is fun. I might replay. I mean, I might replay it for the trophies. That's not working. Alright, what do I have to do? Be in hardcore difficulty, and that's the only trophy you laugh. Oh god. I am really upset that the, the DLC doesn't come with anything. $20 DLC should have been a free DLC if it's gonna be that. Um. Yeah, um, that. I mean, they do add new enemies. Um, the executioner, the puppets. Mm, so, no, all in all, it's not a bad DLC, but still. I am a bit disappointed with the DLC. This winter's expansion. I was hoping for another DLC, too. Like, we get to play Ada as well. But this is supposed to be like the end of the um uh, yeah. What three additional ones am I missing? I think I got all of them. Complete shy rolls in that one three minutes. I could probably do that in very easy mode. Hard mode, hell no. I'm probably gonna die way too many times and that will slow me down greatly. I hope everyone had fun with... Well, I'm hoping whoever got this DLC had fun with it. But I am, but I didn't. I mean, it's fun playing as Carl and Lady D. It is really fun playing as them. Um, I even got some triple ass with Lady D in some of these ones. Was this awesome? Oh, I got a C for Carl. Guess I'll probably unlock Carl next. And I'll show you what I mean by this. Again, he's the only one that can block. Lady D cannot block, which is annoying because I can't block any enemy attacks. Why not give him all the block? And yeah, it looks like he's using um, metal sheets to protect them. Which is cool. Alright, what is this thing? A hammer created to bring out the, world, out the wheeler's powers. Heavy and unyielding due to its electric energy stores and structural capabilities. Ooh, that's cool. Alright, yeah, so I hope everyone has a uh, fun. Oh, wait. Ugh. 
There's one more thing I do like about Lady D character. There's two things I want, two th more things. One thing I like, another thing I hate about Lady D. <clears throat> She's way too tall. Yeah, she's way too tall. I have to duck to get into some areas. To, yeah, crawl. And that slows me down. That sucks. It really does. And I do not like it. But at least she has, like, a tall reach. And she is really, really tall. Other than, well, other characters. Oh, so if you look down, you can see her three flowers. Anyway, hope everyone has a wonderful day. Hi, right, um, bye.